Hey GC, hope you guys had a great weekend. Sadly, our Eagles journey came to an end Friday, but Tyler Adams has more on that later. I'm Madison Ogg, here with Emily Gowen. There will be a parent appreciation concert tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the gym. Admission is free. It includes all aspects of our band program. Come on out and enjoy the show. Don't forget, Roswell Chapel Youth Group's 19th Annual Hoops for Hope 3-on-3 Basketball Tournament comes this weekend. Registration starts at 10.30 a.m. at Graves County Middle School. The game starts at 11. The entry fee is $30 if you pay it by Wednesday, and it goes up to $35 after that day. See Coach Sims for registration forms. The football program Strawberry Orders will be available to pick up tomorrow. You can pick up your order in the weight room behind the football stadium between 3.30 and 6 p.m. Extra flats will be available if you haven't already ordered. A full flat of eight one-quart containers costs $25. A half flat of four one-quart containers are $15. The first session of boot camp is this Saturday. Make plans to be there if you are struggling in science, social studies, or English courses. These sessions provide extra tutoring. Talk with your core teacher for more details. In other news, Trash to Treasure, a recycling program here at the high school, is open to all high school students. Prizes will be awarded for most creative entries. The deadline for these entries is March 29th. If you are interested, please contact Donna Graham or Ms. Cope. Students taking an AP test must have their application and deposit of $15 per test into the guidance office by Thursday, March 21st. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Yates. Coming up during the break, Tyler Adams is back with the latest sports update. And Colton hints that spring is on the way. fell short Friday in one of their greatest seasons of basketball. Grace County looked like they could re get revenge on Hopkinsville, but it was not to be. The Eagles led by a two at halftime, then the score was tied at the end of the third. But in the fourth, the Tigers pulled away, picking up their defense. Peyton Puckett's 19 points made him the only Eagle to score more than four points. Hoptown would run ahead to the 50-34 win. Great job, Eagles. Each of you left everything you had on the court. GC is so proud of you. We'll have, one more, we'll have more on the uh, Rep Arena experience coming up later in the week. As one season ends, another begins. Our Eagle bas baseball team takes the field for its first time today. Reed Grimes caught up with Coach Elliott to get his thoughts on this year's team. Oh, of course, Reed. We're ready to get going. You know, we've been practicing since February 15th and actually working before then, so we're, we're ready to actually play some games. We had two scrimmages last week. Uh, didn't go as well as we wanted to, but I think we're, I think we're ready to go now. So obviously, our pitching staff is going to be a big part of it. Uh, we got a lot of those back with Justin Hayden, Clayton Carrico, and then Tanner Smith, probably um, our three best returning. But then Brian Callahan's also had a strong preseason. I look for him to do big things. Uh, offensively, we're looking for uh, Colton Aldridge to have another big year for us. And uh, hopefully, uh, Trey Williams and Callan can also pick up some of that slack. What are your expectations for the start of the season? Every year we expect to win the region and win our district. Uh, we're going to be a little, um, I don't want to make excuses, but we've got five key players who are just now getting done with basketball who haven't actually practiced with us and play our first game today. So, you know, we've got to try to get these guys back in. So it may be mid-season before we really get going. Okay, thank you. The Eagles season begins in Trigg County. They'll take on the Wildcats tonight. First pitch is at 5 o'clock. For GCTV, I'm Tyler Adams. Hey GC, it's Monday and it's time for another edition of your GC weather forecast. Today there's going to be a high of 45 with a chance of some light rain, and in the evening a low of 31 with some gradual clearing of clouds. On Tuesday it's going to be sunny with a high of 52 and a low of 30, and on Wednesday it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 47 and a low of 29. This has been your GC weather forecast. It's in the news. Several NATO and Afghan service members, including two Americans, were killed today when an assailant wearing an Afghan National Security Forces uniform opened fire on the group. The shootout in eastern Afghanistan didn't last long as coalition forces returned fire and killed the attacker. 
Two Afghan army personnel were killed and 10 Americans were wounded. Fire erupted Saturday at a rural Kentucky home, killing two adults and five children inside a coroner said. The coroner said Saturday afternoon that the adult victims found inside the ranch-style home were a woman and her boyfriend. The woman was the mother of three of the children who died, while two other children were from another family. A sport utility vehicle carrying eight teenagers crashed into a guardrail Sunday morning and flipped over into a swampy pond in northeast Ohio, killing five boys and a girl. Investigators say it came to a rest upside down in the swamp and sank with five of the victims trapped inside. A six, who was thrown from the SUV during the crash, was found under it when the vehicle was taken out of the water. For World News, I'm Jared Snort. Attention all junior and senior girls. Please see Mrs. Horn or Ms. Colley in the Youth Services Center if you need assistance with a prom dress. You have until tomorrow at 3 p.m. to speak with them. Behind on your community service hours? Get yours in. Next Monday, there's a fundraiser at Car Steakhouse. Restaurant experience is preferred. Another community service option is available. You can fill Easter eggs for the preschool Easter egg hunt at Central Elementary School on Wednesday, March 27th at 4 p.m. See Ms. Horn or Ms. Colley in the Youth Services Center to volunteer. Agape members, you will meet tomorrow in the pack during CCR and break. And that's all we have for today, so see you around, DC. Maybe I'm a dreamer. Maybe I'm misunderstood. Republic for which it stands, one nation under God.